Today on the channel, the Marvel Legends GameStop exclusive Miles Morales Gamerverse Spider-Man. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another Marvel Legends unboxing and review. And today we've got the GameStop exclusive Game Reverse Miles Morales Spider-Man. But for all your Marvel Legends needs and a whole lot more that's not this Miles Morales figure, hit up Big Bad Toy Store. Link in the description below. And we're going to do this unboxing like we do all the other unboxings on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging, we're going to talk about it, we're going to unbox it, we're going to talk about it, we'll see where it goes from there, so let's look at the packaging first. An old Miles Morales there. Now we understand this game reverse subline of Marvel Legends, perfect exclusive for a store like GameStop or EB Games up north, uh, places like that. It makes a lot of sense. I would love it if GameStop just got all these game reverse figures as exclusive store exclusives, and they took them out of the traditional waves. Uh, I just don't like the different packaging in the wave, and honestly, the game reverse figures are probably my least favorite Marvel Legends figures, just because I don't play video games. I don't have time. I wish I did. I'd probably have a renewed love for them if I did, but it's just not. It just always feels a little off in the Marvel Legends set when you just put one or two of these in there. So I just think, much like Star Wars does with the Black Series, the video game figures are exclusive to GameStop. Do the same thing for Marvel Legends. Uh, I'll probably still end up buying them. I pick and choose on the Star Wars, but I think that is a better home and a better fit for these figures. But we'll see. This Miles Morales seems to be a little bit of reuse from the latest Miles Morales we got as part of this new Spider-Man wave here at the end of 2021. But we'll compare the two at the end and see what we think. But we know this Game Reverse packaging by now. It's been around for a couple of years at this point. The white packaging up top, really a lot different than the black we're accustomed to with the Marvel Legends. You got the big Spider-Man Spider-Man Miles Morales here. Big window box, different background, a lot of accessories of this one. We'll dig into it. You can see there's uh, the clear version of uh, Miles there. Same thing on the other side. A little spider logo on the top. UPC's warnings. And then the back, not a lot going on. With this being an exclusive, there's no cross-sell going on. You got some warnings, stuff like that there. You got a little bit of a blurb, and then you got an action figure glamour shot, which you know I love, and then the Marvel Legends logo at the top. So let's see what it says about old Miles Morales back here. Forging his own path, Miles Morales discovers explosive new powers. That's pretty generic. I mean, you could change this up. Forging his own path, uh, Incredible Hulk discovers explosive new powers. Forging her own path, Aunt May discovers explosive new powers. You could really substitute anybody in there if you wanted to. So it really doesn't explain this. Now, this is part of a video game, I'm guessing, right? It's a game reverse figure, right? So I don't know. I got to think there's probably a clear suit, uh, a visible suit for Spider-Man in the Spider-Man game. Uh, just uh, being very assumptive right there. But there it is. That's it. That's the packaging. But let's get him out of the box, see what's going on. And we got that Spider-Man logo back there. Pretty cool looking logo if you ask me right there. Looks cool. A little fiery. See you later, though. We don't need it. How about a little plastic prison? And we get two extra sets, actually three sets of hands with this one. How many hands? He's awfully a handsy Spider-Man. He's hands-on, some might say. The three sets of hands, and we know we've seen these top hands before. Get the old tape out. There goes one. There goes two. There goes Spidey. And there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. And see you later. So now the interesting thing about Miles Morales is uh, he's not my Spider-Man. Spider-Man for me will always be Peter Parker. And I'm sure the majority of the audience that watches this video, Peter Parker is their Spider-Man. But man, that up and coming younger generation out there, you ask my 10 year old daughter, who is Spider-Man? Well, Miles Morales. So the guard, the changing of the guard is happening. It's right in front of our eyes and we're missing it is what it seems like. But I think right now there's a universe where Miles and Peter kind of live side by side and all that. But I have to think as things happen, as new games and new movies and things go, Miles Morales, he may be the de facto Spider-Man one of these days. We'll see. That could very well happen here. But let's get down to it. I guess let's talk about these hands first. Now, these hand effects, these yellow effect hands with kind of the uh, lightning on the end, look like something that should go for Electro. And maybe we will see these with Electro, get some reuse. Got to get the most out of your molds. Uh, but we saw this with the last version of Miles Morales as well. So these are 
Uh, not brand new hands, but cool. I always like effect hands. That is something different. I will give those a pass. Now we get extra hands here, which we know Spider-Man is a figure that always gets a lot of hands throughout different releases because he's very flexible. He's got to have flexibility. He's got a lot of different hands for grabs and swinging and giving the old Jimmy Snook out there. You guys know how it goes with Spider-Man. So we get those hands here. We get two open hands, which I do like with Spider-Man. I always like these open hands so we can kind of do that. Uh, right there on the ground, you know, so we got those two there and then we got the I love you brother hands The old Superfly Jimmy Snooka. He'd jump on that top rope He'd he'd signify that he loves us all and he'd do that big Superfly splash and Miles Morales a huge Superfly fan So he put those in there as well And then on the figure we get two fisted hands and of course we do because the Marvel Legend team understands Superheroes need at least one fist sometimes they need two and that's what we've got with this spider-man figure so I do like that. I'm here for it. I'm here for it all day long. So then we get to the figure here, and this is not for everybody. It's a store exclusive, and this is a perfect store exclusive, being a game reverse like we talked about earlier. But then just uh, the clearness of it all, this is not your uh, traditional Miles Morales. I think if it was a traditional Miles Morales, people would be up in arms. Why has it got to be GameStop exclusive? But to be a translucent figure, a hologram figure, whatever we want to call this, uh, this makes a little bit more sense for a store exclusive. It scratches the back. Hey, I'm giving this store a Miles Morales, a special one, but it is not the one everybody wants wants like we got in the last spider-man marvel legends traditional line so i agree with this i think this is a smart move for an exclusive figure but then you get spider-man here so it's got that translucent blue uh different than the ai tony stark i was feel i felt like it would feel the same kind of as that uh some of that gloss plastic but this actually feels a heck of a lot like the other Miles Morales, and it's time to compare these two. So this is the traditional one we got. A lot of people out of that last Spider-Man wave think this is the best figure in the set. It didn't do a lot for me. I think the neck joint is way too big. There's too much neck. He's too giraffe-like on this one. Uh, a little bit too plain Jane. Just not what I was looking for in a Miles Morales. But if you liked it, hey, to each their own. I do display this one with these yellow hands, giving a little bit more color to him. I think that is cool. I don't think the yellow hands go as well on this one with the translucent blue plastic. It just looks a little bit off. Uh, so I don't think I'll be using those on here but it is the same exact figure it seems to be it does not have the webbing of course uh, on the head and stuff I mean, it does but it's not colored in of course but uh, on the chest it doesn't have that same webbing going on but it has the same spider-man logo uh, yeah it just it, it is the same exact figure I'm looking at it right now it's just a simple repaint gotta get the most out of your molds exclusive a store exclusive the perfect perfect place to do it uh, it's got all the same articulation as the other miles morales you've got the double jointed knees and elbows the bicep swivel the thigh swivel the ankle rockers the removable hands that move up and down all around head all over the place as well but then you get the butterfly joints which at this point is almost mandatory with a spider-man figure to get those butterfly joints uh, you need all that posability mobility uh, with your spider-man figures out there and boy, I am really not sure where I am going to put this Spider-Man figure in my display. Like I said, I do have a bit of a Gamerverse shelf, so I guess that's where it will probably end up going. Uh, like, you, like I said earlier, I'm just not a big on the Gamerverse lines. I don't know. If you guys tell me out there, are you a big Gamerverse figure fan? I don't know if I've ever met somebody that does. But hey, chime in. To each their own. There's somebody that likes these things. Uh, but it's interesting. It's interesting enough. Uh, it's I, it's a good of a repaint as they could do with this figure. It is totally different than this one as far as looks go, so I'm okay with it. He's just going to hang out somewhere on my display case somewhere. I don't know where. I guess stay tuned in February. My action figure uh, room tours begin once again as we always do a yearly room tour about uh, February of 2022 will be a good time. But let me know your thoughts on the Game Reverse line. Do you like it being exclusive to GameStop? Have you picked it up? A lot of deals. Black Friday is uh, as I'm filming this. So I know you can get him on, uh, I think, $20 at GameStop right now if you act fast. But by the time I post this, Black Friday will be a uh, distant memory, I'm sure. But maybe not. Who knows? But uh, let me know if you're picking this one up. Make sure you like this video. You made it this far. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. We're unboxing every Marvel Legends figure out there. We're unboxing it here on the channel. Let me be the guinea pig for you. And then uh, follow me on social media. Sir Paul 64 on Twitter. Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. And of course, ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. Support the channel. So for the Game Reverse, Spider-Man, Miles Morales, Marvel Legends, I am Kyle. I will see you guys all real soon.